Hi guys, it's been exactly 48 hours since I finished the NCLEX on Tuesday. The unofficial quick results are supposed to be up on the site, but it is not up yet. It's saying results not available yet, and my classmate Julia, who took it with me and I finished before her, already got her results. So I'm low-key scared. I don't know what's going on. Where's my results? I want to know my results. <sighs> If you can't tell, I haven't showered yet because this has been the most stressful day of my life. Last two days of my life, I couldn't sleep for the past two nights trying to think about these results. It's, where's my results? Let me know if I'm a nurse or not. <laughs> Let's see, what's wait. 30 minutes later, still nothing. Well, one of my classmates said it took a while for her, like an hour or two. You know, not a big deal, just anxiety and fear for the next god knows how long <laughs> i should take a shower first cool my mind because i'm gonna explode explode <laughs> one eternity later okay it's 3 p.m and the results are available for purchase um i'm so scared <sighs> Like, my heart is pounding right now. I'm just putting on my card information. Oh, yes! I passed! I'm a nurse! <laughs> I passed. I passed. I passed. Hi guys, my name is Christian and welcome back to my channel. It just turned August 17th. It is 12.30 a.m. And it's been 16 days since you first saw the last happy clip. Sorry for the almost tears and the overwhelming reaction that was all genuine. It was really such a heartwarming fulfilling and humbling moment when I saw the results of my NCLEX online. So it took me 16 days since that clip to actually sit down and film the continuation and the ending of this vlog. Well first off, I was waiting for this in the mail. The official certificate from the New York State Education Department. So it says be it known that my name has given satisfactory evidence of the completion of professional and other requirements prescribed by law is qualified to practice as a registered professional nurse in the state of New York. <laughs> so I was waiting for this in the mail. It took around one and a half to two weeks after the posting of my passing results on the NCLEX and the Pearson website. And also another reason why it took me two weeks was because I've just been job hunting and sleeping and actually finishing Something in the Rain on Netflix. Yes, I am officially unemployed. Any hospitals there? Hiring? I'm your boy. Willing to do anything at this point. Need a job. Need to pay credit card bills. Need to pay my mom. <laughs> and other than that, if it doesn't seem too obvious from the first clip in the span of two weeks, I probably gained some <sighs> facial weight. Well, I've just been eating a lot. Why? Because each time I see food and I feel guilty of eating it, only one voice, one whisper comes into my mind. You deserve this. You passed the Netflix. You won't die, the serpent replied to the woman. God knows that your eyes will be opened as soon as you eat it, and you will be like God, knowing both good and evil. 
First, let me take you through this whole journey. Since my very first video, which I uploaded, I believe in February, about my nursing school journey. So I filmed that in my last semester of nursing school just a few months ago. And then my second nursing video was when I graduated nursing school way back in May 28th. Then I took some vacation in California for one week. And when I came back from Cali, I vehemently started studying every day for the NCLEX and then as you saw in the first clip in the video, I passed my NCLEX RN and I'm now registered to work in the state of New York. So, how did I do it? How did I pass the NCLEX? How did they prepare for it? Let me just take you to this quick run through of how, in my case, I passed the NCLEX. So, a few months before we graduated, my classmates and I as a group bought a package online called UWorld. And let me tell you right now, in case you get annoyed with my voice and you find me boring and don't want to continue the rest of the video, all you need to pass the NCLEX RN is UWorld. UWorld. Take a note. This is not sponsored. It's not promotional. First of all, it is prohibited according to the law and that we agreed to before we started the NCLEX that we cannot give out anything specific about the exam. No questions, no answers, nothing. So I'm gonna run through everything in a general, general point of my experience for preparing and for actually taking the actual exam. So UWorld is a bank of questions that helps you practice with rationales and different types of questions from multiple choice, so like all the applies, the killer. Ordering questions, audio and video questions, medication calculations, burns calculations. Anyways, it's a bank of questions that you can get in different packages depending on the time. I believe there's a 90 day, there's a 180 day, there might even be a 30 day and something longer, maybe for a year. And they come in different prices as you will find on the actual UWorld website, which I will link down below. We got the 180 day package. And so what it comes with is first a bank of, I believe almost 3000 questions or just a bit above 2000 questions and one self-assessment test and a second self-assessment test. So the bank of around 2,000 questions, it lasts until the day of the package. 90 day, 180 day. But the two self-assessment tests, what's advised is that you take them nearer to your NCLEX date because once you activate those two assessment tests, they are only viable for the next 14 days. First of all, I did not read any book. I did not go through any more notes in preparation for the NCLEX. I had two days of really, really quick in-person reviews with family friends, both were three hours each around four or five days before my actual exam date. But other than those two session days, all I used to study and prepare for the NCLEX RN is UWorld. But then again, everyone is different. You know, some of my classmates who passed, they also read books or review books or went back to some textbooks and watch videos or podcasts. And that's okay. Everyone is really different. So upon graduation, May 28th, I took some time off for two weeks before I actually sat down and started my actual NCLEX review. But even then in June and the first half of July, I really wasn't serious in the preparation for the NCLEX. So the second week of June, when I decided to study, I went down to our basement and set my own spot there. I laid out a makeshift bed, just had my computer. I would just lie down there put my AirPods on, listen to classical music. And what I did with the bank of 2000 questions, I would study out of seven days, around five to six days. For three days, I would do 75 questions daily. The other two days, I do 100 questions that day. And then the other day, I would do 150 questions. Generally, if you don't know how the NCLEX works, to take the exam, you have a minimum of 75 questions to pass or fail and a maximum of 265 questions. So the computer starting at 75 would shut off the moment that it gauges an algorithm of a score that is definitely passing or definitely failing. Or if you end at 76, 77, even 180, or even at 265. So the computer just shuts off at the question where it has already made a definite trend as to where you definitely failed or definitely passed. In my personal experience, my computer shut off at question 75 and I finished between 45 minutes to an hour. So how you world work is that you can create your own test from that pool of 2,000 or 3,000 questions and you input the number of questions you want to create that exam and the maximum questions that you can make is 75 questions. So for the days that I would do 100 or 150, I would just add 25 or 50 questions.
So the interface of the U world are check marks as to which questions you want to be tested on. So it goes from systems, so you can choose like for this certain exam that you create, it's just cardiovascular, it's just integumentary, and then it breaks it down into subgroups of each system. Or you can just click on everything and gives you an actual comprehensive exam, which I did. But that's just me personally. I just like comprehensive exams. I think it just puts me more of a state of how the NCLEX actually is. Anyways, once I got back from Cali and knowing that my exam was on July 30th, it put me in an alarming state because I only had one week and a half left until my exam date. And my goal was to not study in the day before the actual exam on July 29th. So when I came back from my short trip, I really plotted each day that my goal was to finish all the questions I had remaining left from the 3000 bank before I left for Cali. So when you create the test, once you answer a question and click submit, it gives you the result right away for that question. If either you got it right or wrong, it gives you a rationale, which is like usually two to three paragraphs of very helpful information. Because what I did was I collected all of the rationales. So when I was in the plane going to Cali, coming back to New York, I would review those rationales. Because as you do the questions, you'll notice that certain concepts just repeat. And the rationales make sense pathophysiologically, pharmacologically, even just in general sense. If you know the rationale behind an answer, why that is the answer or why the other distractors are not the answers, you can only switch up a question so much and so many times until you actually realize, oh wait, this is why it's the answer. And so those two assessment tests, they're graded quite differently. They are 100 questions each. And at the end of those exams, it gives you a bar of your likelihood chance of passing the end click. So it goes, I believe, from a low chance to borderline to high chance to very high chance. And for me, based on my experience, it's really such a good reflection and parameter, very accurate of how you would do on the end clicks. On both of my assessments, I got a very high chance of passing. On my first assessment, I was in the 72nd percentile, but was still on a very high chance passing grade. But on my second assessment, which was I believe three days after, I was in the 92nd percentile, which is still in the very high chance of passing. So it just shows you that it really does not matter how many questions you get right around the NCLEX, which defines your passing or failing grade, because each question has a different weight. So based on my understanding, a select all that apply would weigh more than multiple choice question. As gray and as unhelpful as it sounds, the NCLEX is really a random chance of passing. It's either you get it or you don't. Because honestly, there were questions in my NCLEX that I know for sure that I did not get right because I never heard of those concepts before. And yet I still passed, meaning Maybe I got most of the psychology reply questions right, which switched the algorithm of my grade. And really, without being metaphysical or philosophical, I really believe that if it is your timing, it is yours. But the most important part is that you do your best, that you really study hard for this exam. This exam is not just something that you can just enter in on the day of without studying anything. You have to memorize your lab values. You have to hone your critical thinking skills. You have to be able to look at those questions and know, oh, this is what the patient needs. Oh, this is the prioritization that I need to utilize to answer this question. It is impossible to know everything in the NCLEX. But I believe what's important is that you know enough and you know the most that you can to actually pass the exam, exam, exam. And the most important part, beyond knowing all the concepts, beyond memorizing all the lab values and other values, is the confidence when you enter the exam room. That confidence, that self-assurance, that you studied your best, that you gave your best, and you are well prepared to take this exam. Even though with all the nerves and anxiety going into the test center, deep down in my heart, I knew that I was prepared, and I knew that I was ready to take. Really, you world is your dear friend in this preparation for the NCLEX. That's just my take on it. Other people might say otherwise, there are so many other NCLEX review companies. Everyone is different, that's what worked for me, that's why I'm sharing it for you. And just for the past two weeks, I've actually just been trying to intake it as I met with my other classmates who also are now registered nurses. And it's such a great feeling to actually pass it on the first try, but the truth is whether it's your first try or second try or third, it really does not matter at all. The amount of times one takes the NCLEX exam or any certification exam does not grab you of your worth of that profession. Rather, it shows one's determination and passion to actually achieve what they really want in life. Doesn't matter how long it takes, 
or what detours you are led to as long as you get to your destination. So if you are watching this and you also took the NCLEX RN or LPN or any certification exams and you passed, congratulations. But also for those who did not pass in your first try and in this round of exams, just keep on pushing, just keep on going because you will get there with your determination and with your passion and your desire to be in this profession. Hard work really does pay off. Thank you for joining me in the past few months in this start of my nursing journey. I know this is just the beginning from my last semester to graduation and now being officially a registered nurse. Thank you for all of your support. Thank you to my family, to my friends, to everyone. Again, this is just the beginning. I will take you in my journey. Hopefully my next video regarding nursing will already be working in the hospital and we're on to another chapter and page in my life. Thank you, everyone.